All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is from our retail innovation sponsor, Samsung. They're sitting right here. I'd like to invite up Mr. Khaled to deliver a scintillating um, presentation. Please come on up, sir. Good morning, everyone. I am not a podium guy, so I hope you don't mind that I walk around. And how many of you here today are from the retail industry, meaning a retailer? Fantastic. That's almost everyone. How many of you are here to serve the retailers? That's a smaller number, which makes sense. The reason why I'm here today is, first of all, thank you for being here and thank you for attending our session to discuss with you what Samsung is doing in the retail industry. A lot of people, when they knew that I was coming to talk today, asked me, you guys are a mobile phone manufacturer, so what are you doing there? And I'm like, we're also a television manufacturer, so what are we doing there? But it's actually not the television and not the smartphone that brings me here or not only those, but it's everything that Samsung does to put together in order to empower you guys, both whether you are a retailer or a service provider to retail, but it's all these solutions that we put together that make the retail industry a very good experience for our shoppers, for the consumer. So we both share a goal that we actually go to market changing the way consumers and shoppers look at the entire retail experience. So what we're going to discuss quickly in the 15 minutes that we are bound to is the trends that are happening, what the offerings uh, are, and what we've done in order to contribute to shaping the retail industry. Right. If this works, I'd rather walk about. Yes, it works. Good, so if you remember, shopping was just that we go to a shop, we look at a few merchandise, and then we select what we want. That is traditional, that is still happening till this very moment. The way we would like to see is that now consumers go to a shop, to a store, and have a far better experience. As we see in the photo here, this lady is looking at a huge display, possibly Samsung, and it actually displays everything that she is interested in, in the different colors. She can now touch the screen and move things and get more information. It becomes very more interactive, rather than just talking to the traditional salesperson on the floor that runs, get another model, et cetera. So the, the experience becomes both cost effective and it offers far more to the consumer than traditionally has been. The thing is, what we all start, started to do maybe a year or two um, back, we started looking at the online shopping. We started looking at what we want to have and how we would love to have that, and then we start seeing where is that offered, and then perhaps we go to the brick and mortar store and selected that. Perhaps maybe we were still afraid of you know, security issues. I don't want to put my credit card online. Uh, I don't want my safety and security to be compromised online, so I'd rather go to a traditional shop and pick it up from there. But that also is changing with the development in security, the trends that are happening around us. Things are telling us that the traditional shopper is becoming more and more interested in online shopping. Still a very big majority of people are going to the traditional shops, picking up products from there. But we cannot ignore um, online shopping as well. That's why we bring both experiences to the retail store. The moment you walk in the shop and you see those big screens we spoke about, and then you start actually going as a consumer now. Now picture you're a consumer because at the end of the day we are all consumers. We all go shopping, buy things and so on, whether for ourselves, friends, families. Um, we go and experience the whole thing. 
exactly as our shoppers do, right? So I go, let's picture I want to buy a suit for myself. I go to the shop, I put a suit on, and now rather than just changing and going to the changing room and trying another color and so forth, I can now stand in front of a screen of, let's say, life size, and picture myself in red, in blue, and all by just touching the screen, selecting a color, and then the whole thing will change the way I would like to see myself in a yellow suit or blue suit or whatever. And so on with ties, shoes, everything. So the retail experience is really changing. And we are here to empower all of us, to empower our shoppers to have a far better experience. That's the name of the game. Now, if we look at, in, you know, in the retail, within the retail industry, we've done some research and we've asked the majority of the retailers that we have access to, how far do they know their shopping, their shoppers' behaviors? Do they know it? Do they want to know it? Would it make a difference to their business? And everybody agreed that yes, definitely, if I know my shopper or my consumer behavior, that would make me a better place to attract my customers more and more. And if we see today how well, or if I ask any of the retailers here, how well do you really know your consumer? I'm sure that I will get you know, a few hesitation before I receive any answer. But if we look at how the trends are moving, we will see in the next few years that retailers and people supporting the retailers will have a far better understanding of what the shoppers want, what do they go to. So for example, today, as we speak, I can capture you know, my shoppers walking into my store. I can understand how many males, how many females. And that technology is available today as we speak. It's not something that's coming in the future. I can already install in your locations devices that can help you understand how many males walked into your store, how many between this time and that hour, how many females, where did they go in the store? Did they go to dresses? Did they go to accessories? Did they go to shoes? And that will help you make decisions. And that's, that's the real power of computing and the new technology in the retail industry. Now, of course, once I know how my, my consumer's shopping behavior is, I can start changing my entire showroom in order to make my offering more attractive to them. Now, obviously, with the amount of data, you require still data processing. You require people to understand shopping behaviors and so forth. And then you require people that understand the retail industry and window trimming and all these things that will help the overall shape of what your customer experience will look like. Now, we've all heard, and my colleagues before me spoke about the Internet of Things. We speak about the Internet of Things. And we look forward. We made a promise that all of our devices, let's say four or five years from today, will all be connected. What that means is if the shopper uses their phone, their mobile device, their tablet, whatever, they can actually walk in the store and then all the installed equipment in the store can start talking back to them. So if I go and stop at, let's say, a shirt, you know, blue color, that brand, the device in the shop can push back information to their tablet saying that this is the manufacturer, available sizes are so and so, available colors are so and so. The whole shopping experience becomes totally different. That's what we mean by smart. So once they are connected, shoppers be, become much more, I would say, effective in the way they do their shopping and it becomes a far more engaging experience. Now, you could imagine having your brands help you out with, with that kind of information in order to leave the customer or consumer with massive amount of information in a very short span of time to maximize their shopping rather than their browsing and searching and so forth, which is exactly what we want, right? Especially at the end of the month when their sellers hit their banks. So. Um, 
That's the example I've, I've spoke about earlier, and we see here um, a person standing, looking and, and browsing and touching the screen. This, is, this happens to be an interactive screen. She just touches on the screen and she gets a variety of you know, the, the things that she might consider for, uh, for buying at that time. It's also on, their, on her mobile device in her hand and so on. So that's, that's basically what I wanted to share with you as far as the trending, as far as where technology is going in the retail. We have um, solutions that make it entirely easy. So people could say, gee, who is going to sit and work on this technology? Or how many people do I need to put together my entire store on the equipment and so on and so forth? All the products that we have in the retail industry come you know, with solutions like Magic Info, maybe the majority of you have heard of it already. But Magic Info is such a very small and easy solution to let your graphic designer or somebody that you hire to, to work on this, let them feed in as much information in a very short span of time, very, very easy. You have full control on what you you know, what you want to show your consumers, let's say, from 10 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock, and then from 2 to 4, you want to show that content. From 6 to 9, you want to show that other content. And so far, you have full flexibility and full control on what you want to show your customers. The other thing also that you integrate having all your devices talking together is giving the consumer the luxury of having to choose to pay from their own device without having to go into, let's say, your machine or something. They can use their own device that is maybe secure and they have already stored their um, credit card information and so forth. Now, having spoken about customer information and trending and knowing knowledge enough about the customer, would also help you to start communicating to your consumer after they have shopped at your location. So you still keep in touch with them. You still send them information to their home if they opt to have uh, to receive information from you. But you can definitely have them use that experience, not only in your location, but outside of your location it's itself, either home, with friends, and so forth, which can add a huge spectrum of possibilities for you to increase the number of shoppers, to increase the number of shopping per consumer, uh, which is exactly what, what we want. But again, back to the connectivity, I think the beauty of all of this is that you could have a customer who walks with a device in their hand and using your devices in your location that you've enabled uh, to interact with their devices. They can shop, they can print what they saw, they can pay for what they selected and so forth, all from one single device that they have uh, in their hand. Now, I spoke about cost efficiency and I've also spoken about minimizing the time, the waste in browsing, but then maximizing the time they focus on actual purchasing, which is exactly what we want them to do. Now, as I said also, the way things are moving now is that we are seeing people relying more and more on technology without that fear that they originally had a few years ago not to use you know, credit cards and so forth in the traditional manner. We're seeing trending. I mean, again, um, you know, we, all of the devices that we have, you start looking at how you can minimize your cost in your location by utilizing effective and efficient, I don't know, from air conditioning, lighting. Now things are moving into LED lighting, which cuts energy by a dramatic percentage, which, again, all of these things leave you with cost efficiency. You, the, whole, the whole thing is about minimizing your cost and maximizing your profitability. So again, we're moving into, so we spoke about the Internet of Things, and that is touching on the retail. So in retail, we're seeing and we're, we're hearing about smart retail, and smart retail is, is, is nothing outside of the Internet of Things. Once you have all of your things connected, then again, the name of the game is offering shop, the shopper a shopper experience that leaves them with your brand and your shop in mind having affected the, the way they do shopping, having left them with a wow effect you, you know, due to the technology that they use 
and uh, walk about with. I want to share with you in the last 25 seconds that I have left, our experience from this very city, from Abu Dhabi, with such a great brand as Kenzo, and I think it's self-explanatory. Kenzo opted for a overall Samsung solution that will offer to their consumers all what I've spoken about, the entire shopping experience, the entire ability to have the customer choose, select, purchase, all from their own connected device. And with that, thank you very much for your attention. Looking forward to speak to you again. <music>